So this one, this is a relatively new acquisition. Um, we, you know, I've been talking already about Van Halen a bunch in this because he's my spiritual guitar godfather, I always yeah. say. So <laughs> I'm a Van Halen nut. And this guitar uh, was something that I had to have once I realized like just how much of those first couple albums were done on basically this yeah. guitar. It's a, uh, a 76 Ibanez Destroyer. Uh, with this, you know, Ed had one and it became the Shark guitar that he cut up and you so know, when you're gonna said, do that I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that's when he stopped using it evidently after he did that he said it didn't sound good anymore I guess but it's a, so this is made by Ivan as it's a kind of a lawsuit guitar I, mean, I don't think they can make them after a couple of years because you know Gibson probably went after him yeah but it's made out of although it looks a lot like a, a Carina uh, Explorer from the late 50s it's actually made out of uh, I believe Japanese ash which they call sin and you can see it's actually a sandwich body. Oh, yeah. So they sandwich two pieces together. And so who knows how many pieces of wood. It's actually, it's probably six pieces of wood or something, the body. Uh, but uh, it just sounds unbelievable. And it's got a neck, like, you know. So when I got this guitar, I got it from a guy in, in Huntington Beach. And he had it advertised for, uh, you know, not like a crazy cheap price, but a pretty reasonable price. Okay. Went down and met him in a parking lot. And as I'm driving down there, you know, from L.A., I thought, this guitar is probably going to suck. It's probably going to be, you know, like like not a great neck or something. You know, it's going to yeah. be trash or just be heavy. Or, And he opened the case and I was just like, oh, man. I was like, that's great. And then I picked it up and the neck is ferocious on it. So he told me that he'd had it about 20 years and he got it from the fella that uh, started TV Jones pickups. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Tom, yeah. So it's got TV Jones uh, humbuckers in it. Usually TV Jones, you see their Filtertron yeah. style pickups, but he does make a couple sets, you know, a couple models. I got some more, a more PAF kind of thing. So that's what's in here. And these sound, whatever's going on, they sound fantastic in this guitar. I hit him up on, uh, on Instagram and I said, hey, do you remember, like by any chance, would you have had this guitar like all these years ago? And he writes me back basically in all caps, like, if you ever sell that guitar, you have to sell it back to me. He's like, I can't believe you have that guitar. Wow. And I was like, I love it, dude, it's great. So, you know, if, if you're out there, my friend, maybe you, you, we can share or something, you know, come over on weekends <laughs> or something. I'm all about the love, so. Hey, yeah. can we, with all that, you know, preface and that story, can we hear it? Yeah, it needs a little truss rod adjustment right now, but I can plug it in here and Let's see what uh, let's let's tune up. So here's something that uh, is important. I've always got a tuner active on the floor. All right. So I got my my polytune uh, down there ready to go. As you can probably hear, the strings are dead as doornails. Yeah. So one of the thing around uh, around here is there's there's a lot of guitars and I don't get to changing strings enough. How, does anybody like changing strings? I don't think so. I'm not really into it. I know, think maybe techs do because they get paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Right, like Dallas Shoe, he keeps his bu days busy taking all care of all those U2 guitars. Yeah. I'm still learning how to use my own pedal board, but anyway, you get the idea. The guitar is cool. Like all that, you know, all that. This is like it. This does that thing, and it's got this great chunky low end. Yeah. And um, so it's cool. Even in its dead string, uh, needs a truss rod adjustment state, it still kicks ass. I Before get... you had mentioned that you got it in the parking lot, I was going to ask, because I know that professionally we spend a lot of time over in Japan, and like I was curious yeah. if you got it over there, because me and Perry went over there, and they have a lot of those copies floating around, like Edwards, yeah. Bernie's. Yeah. So I didn't know if that's where you got it, but yeah, you got it in the parking lot. I got it in a parking <laughs> lot. I know what you mean. There's a guitar store there. If you dig Japanese, uh, Tokai's and Bernie's and yeah, all these Tokai. great... Yeah, there's a store in Shinjuku, and I don't know what it's called called but it's right above the store hyper guitars which is also an amazing it's a vintage store that will blow your mind you'll go in and it'll be a, a case full of 50s gold tops and a case full of 60s 335s yeah. and a, it's just like unbelievable store upstairs from hyper guitars if you ever go to tokyo there's a store that is four floors of mostly old japanese guitars Dang. and pedals and everything and it's just yeah. like it's mind-blowing so yeah <laughs> i love that stuff i mean i can just go burn days